microorganisms. So again, today you are with all stuffs, and in this video we will be learning about microorganisms. Likewise, we did four physical quantities and measurements in parts because there are different different chapters in one single chapter. So this is a subheading. Um, today we learn a subheading in microorganisms. Okay, so let's start. What are microorganisms? Living things are also called microorganisms. Some organisms such as bacteria are very tiny and they cannot be seen from naked eyes. They are called microorganisms. Below are some microorganisms such as yeast, the type of fungi, amoebae, and paramecium. I hope you understood the slide. So, we can see microorganisms with the help of a microscope. So, over here is a picture of a virus which is eating microorganisms. Microorganisms are all around us. They can be found in the air, water, and soil. They can be found on or inside living things and non-living things. Many of them are in our human body. Bacteria in food. If the, if the food is if the food is left behind on the dinner table for too long, bacteria would multiply quickly in the food and spoil it. Possibly, there are two bacteria who spoil the food, which are mold and yeast. The picture of them are below. You can see. How do microorganisms obtain foods? Microorganisms have different ways of, of, of obtaining food. Some types of microorganisms make their own food while some absorb nutrients from dead organisms and waste matter. Others are parasitic such as lysis and they absorb nutrients from their food which are the organisms that parasites live in or on. They live at the expense of the host and are thus really harmful to the host and they're harmful because the parasites, the lysis um, drink our blood. And over here in the background is a picture of a, is a picture of cannabacteria which makes its own food using sunlight just like plants. Are all the microorganisms harmful? Different types of organisms live on our skin between the teeth, on the lining of the nose and the throat, and inside the intestines. Fortunately, many of these are harmless. Some are even useful. However, some are parasitic. Those microorganisms can be found in the intestines of the people who consume raw or contaminated food and water. Contaminated and raw means sarawa. Difference between virus and bacteria. Bacteria, member of a large group or unsecular microorganisms, which have cell, wall, but lack of organelles and an organized nucleus, including some that can cause disease. Virus. A virus is a submicroscopic infectious agent that replicates only inside the living cells of an organism. Bacteria, for example, salmonella virus, for example, COVID-19 or influenza. Diseases caused by microorganisms. Viruses in certain types of microorganisms such as bacteria and fungi can cause diseases. Diseases called by microorganisms <laughs> and viruses are called infectious diseases and the agents that cause these diseases are called germs. If you had ever if you had ever been down with cold or flu, you would know what viruses can do to your body and over here you can see a picture of a human intestine and human intestine the habitat are different types of microorganisms. 
to viruses are smaller than bacterias and cannot be observed with an ordinary microscope. Virus viruses can't reproduce by themselves. They can only reproduce by invading or taking over the cells of living organisms. This is one reason why scientists not classify viruses as living things. Over here are the pictures of three different viruses such as influenza virus, tobacco mosaic virus, A4 bacteriophage virus. Tooth decay. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Tooth decay and gum disease are caused by dental plague, which consists of bacteria that feed on the sugary food or on between the teeth. The sugars are broken down into acids, which erodes the teeth and causes cavities in them. The bacteria, if not removed, can also cause gum disease, making the gum red, swollen and bleed easily. So in the background, you can see the picture of a girl who is having two decay diseases. So below are the names of some diseases, cholera, pneumonia, tuberculosis, typhoid fever, and whooping cough are some other diseases caused by different types of bacteria. Bacteria can cause food poisoning too. So below are the pictures of some bacteria, cholera, pneumonia, tuberculosis, and typhoid. Subscribe to Knowledge Stuffs to get more knowledge and to get more informative about the things of science and different types of subjects. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye bye. Stay home, stay safe, and see all my videos. Take care of yourselves and wait for the other part of my video.